It's not the ShamWow guy, it's me, Will. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you some of these techniques I've learned with uh, making sauerkraut. I was uh, showing my uncle the other day and I realized that there are some, some things that I've learned that uh, make it a lot easier than, than, than how, you know, when you, when you really know, you've never done it before, you pick up techniques and stuff. It's going to be a little difficult with this one. This is a, these cabbages here are about 16 pounds a piece. These are these are really what you need, and the ones I had before really weren't. But uh, you can see here with the leaves on this cabbage. Uh, what I did on this one, I took my knife. Cause you don't want this core. So I took my knife and I put it right in against this edge of this leaf, the stem. And I rocked it in. I, I dug it deep and I rocked it forward. Dug it deep in, rocked it forward. Did it on all five sides. Now when I cut this, I'm going to cut it in fourths the core will already be cut to where it will just pop right out of there which is what I want. Now all these green leaves like I said to my uncle I said you don't want them because for one thing they're not going to make good sauerkraut second of all I mean, you may just throw them away. It's just on this one here half that cabbage is going to be just leaves I'm going to throw away. Uh, the reason for this is two reasons. Number one you could have bacteria, you could have bugs that get into these, inner, these outer leaves and uh, second of all, when you're cutting it, if you're going to cut yourself on something, it's going to be these green leaves. So you don't want them. You don't want that song, Green Leaves. It's a beautiful song. Put it in here. <laughs> I'm like the Shan Wild guy. You put them in a the bucket. You don't need them. You put them in a the bucket. Uh, so there you go. And I'm going to have a lot of cutting to do here. Lots of cutting. So I'm going to core this cabbage. Okay, I'm cutting it in half and uh, start here, work my way through. Before I forget, I actually had, I actually had one of my viewers, and I love my viewers, tell me that when you put the bag of water in, be sure to double bag it. Very important. If you're using the cheap dollar store bags, I have nothing against the dollar store. I shop there frequently, but I use the industrial ones. I get these cabbage sauerkraut only bags. They make them just for this. I won't tell you where they make them, where you buy them, but they make them just for me. Trust me on that. If you believe that, you believe anything. So, I core this. I'm going to tear it apart. There. You see, it already cored this end of it. Now this is what you want. This is the inside of the cabbage. You don't want this outer layer. So practically, up to this point, you're going to probably be discarding. Now, as you can see, I've already cored it. Now I can just go in, grab that core, maybe even take my knife, clean it up a little bit. Okay, this is good eating stuff. Delicious. Uh, core it. Cut across. You don't want this part. That's the part you don't want. That's a big thing. So normally, uh, if you would do it the way my uncle did, he cut it in half and you're left with the core cut in half. So you have to take it and you have to cut this and cut that. I always do it first because then when you get to this point, you already have it all cut out. This is actually the best part right here. Uh, so I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces depending on how big my cutter is and work with it from there. And this is just this is just on the cutting of the cabbage because there is a uh, there's a whole sense of, you know, wanting to know secrets, quick ways of doing it, safe ways of doing it. This is probably the safest way. And again, this is what's going to cut you here, this green stuff. It's almost like cutting when you hit a uh, knot in wood, when you're cutting on a saw. It'll make, you make it slip. You want this. This is solid. You want, and also when you cut with a cutter, you want to use, let the cutter do the cutting, not your hand. Where you cut your hand. Alright? Thank you.